like a hell cut. Hello friends, today our topic is causal or non-causal system. So how to identify whether a system is a causal or a not causal. So very first point is that you will have a question and it will be equation between y and x. Okay. Now what you have to do is put t equal to 0. Okay. Now putting t equal to 0 you will get x of 0 okay this is our partition point now it can be x of 1 in the same equation or x of 3 or any value x of n in this side all right or it can be x of minus 1 or let's say x of minus 2 or so on in this side so why this is important this arrows means what so let's see that whenever you put t equal to 0 you get present value all right or you can get future value or similarly you can get past value so when you put t equal to 0 either you can get x of 0 plus let's say x of 3 or you can get x of 0 plus say x of minus 2 like this so there is combination like whenever you get present value present and past whenever you get this combination this means your system is causal okay now when you get present and future this means your system is non-causal so this is very simple so let's take a recap of the steps first the question is in x and y equation now put t equal to 0 after putting t equal to 0 you will get some combination like present value and future value or past value and present value so let's check if present and past is the combination then the answer is causal if present and future is the combination then answer is non-causal so let's see some examples so our first question is y of t equals x of t minus x of t minus 1 so the equation is in y and x okay now we have to put t equal to 0 after putting t equal to 0 we get y of 0 and we get x of 0 minus x of 0 minus 1 and this is x of minus 1 so you can see we are getting present value okay we are getting present value and we are getting past value so what is this combination so present plus past this is causal system okay so let's see the second question again we, we put t equal to 0 after putting t equal to 0 we get y of 0 that is equal to x of 0 plus 2 times x of 3 because 3 minus 0 is 3 so you can see here again we get present and we get future so what is this combination present plus future this is non-causal so I hope you are getting these steps and how to identify whether it is causal or non-causal let's see some interesting example as well now my question is what if we put t equal to 0 but we are still confused whether it is causal or non-causal why we are confused because it only shows present value and there is no and no past or future when we put t equal to 0 then what we have to do so let's take that example so our example is x of 2t suppose we have x of 2t now put t equal to 0 let's say y of t equal to x of 2t after putting t equal to 0 we get y of 0 that is equal to x of 0 so now we are confused what is this then take another value let put y of 
वन दिस मीन्स वी आर पुटिंग आफ्टर वी पुट टी इक्वल टू जीरो वी आर शिफ्टिंग टू टी इक्वल टू वन सो लेट्स चेक एट टी इक्वल टू वन इज इट सेम लाइक वी गेट एक्स ऑफ वन और वी गेट एक्स ऑफ दिस फ्यूचर वैल्यू दैट इज लेट्स एक्स ऑफ थ्री और समथिंग और वी गेट पास वैल्यू लेट्स एक्स ऑफ जीरो और समथिंग वी हैव टू डिसाइड दिस बाई पुटिंग टी इक्वल टू वन सो आफ्टर पुटिंग टी इक्वल टू वन वी गेट एक्स ऑफ टू नाउ यू कैन सी वी स्टार्टेड एट एक्स इक्वल टू टी इक्वल टू वन सो एक्स ऑफ वन इज हियर बट नाउ यू कैन सी वेर इज एक्स एक्स इज टू सो इट इज इन फ्यूचर सो वॉट डज दिस मीन दिस मीन्स दैट इट डिपेंड्स ऑन प्रेजेंट प्लस इट्स वैल्यू इज फ्यूचर सो प्रेजेंट प्लस फ्यूचर इज नॉन कॉजल Let's take another example. Suppose, suppose I have x of t square. Now what? Again, x of t square equal to y of t. So at at uh, sorry, let t equal to zero. So y of zero equal to x of zero. Again, same condition. Now what is this answer? So now put t equal to one. When we put t equal to one, again we get same. Again, there is a confusion. What is the answer? Now put t equal to two. So, whenever you fail to get an answer at let's say t equal to zero, you fail to identify whether it is future or past. Go for t equal to one. Now again, you fail to identify. Then go for t equal to two, and so on. All right. So when you put t equal to two, now you get the answer x of four and y of two. Now you can see. Now it depends on future so again past plus future is non causal so both the system this and this both the system are non causal system now this example is very interesting the example is y of t equal to t times x of t so what is this system let's take whether it is causal or non causal so first step was put t equal to 0 so we get y of 0 equal to Zero times x of zero. Okay, then we have to put t equal to one because we are still unsure. Then y of one equal to x of one. Okay, at this we get present value. We get present. Now, at t equal to two, again we get y of two equal to two times x of two. Again present. And now the problem here is you put. t equal to zero, one, two, or n. The problem here is whatever value you put, you will get same. Like you will always get the present value. Why? The question is why? Because these two function, y of t and x of t, they will never change. Like at one, both are one. At two, both are two. So this will never change. So now we have to put some interesting thing, and that is. If you put negative value, again we will get the same. So minus times x of minus one. So the problem here is at negative value also. Let's say minus three and so on minus n. We will get present value. So now what to do? Okay. So now you have to understand that if there is only present value, only present. All right, only present. Then the system is causal system. So this was very important. Like you know that if the system is present plus past, then it is causal. And the system is present plus future, then it is non-causal. This you know, but this is the unique case, and therefore this function is very important. In this function, we get only present system. you put any value any positive value or any negative value you will get the same that is the present values at that time there will be no past or there will be no future so if the system has only present value then it is a causal system there is one more unique function so let's see that suppose i have this y of t is equal to x of minus t so now what Again, we have to put this that t equal to zero. At t equal to zero, we get y of zero. 
that is equal to x of 0 okay in this condition we get present value present value now if t equal to 1 we get y of 1 is equal to x of minus 1 so here we can get past value okay so we have this two condition present plus past so you are thinking the answer would be causal all right so if you are thinking the answer is causal you are wrong why because in last example we checked for t equal to 0 all right we check for t equal to 1 and so on and we also checked for t equal to uh, let's say t equal to minus 1 minus 2 and so on so we have to check this condition also so this condition is if t equal to minus 1 so answer is y of 1 comma y of sorry y of minus 1 and that is equal to y of 1 so this means it is a future value so now what is this again one big question mark so now what is this so this means that all states are present all right let's say all state are present all state present all state present means both are present plus past plus future all are present so now what will be the system so the answer for this is it is a non-causal system and remember this wherever you see past value is present by plugging any values like always plug the three values 0 positive value let's say 1 2 3 so on and the negative value that is minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 and so on so this three 0 positive values and negative values you should check for all this and whenever you see that it depends on sorry whenever you see it depends on future future value whenever you see this future value this means that it is a non-causal system that's very important so let's sum up everything so first we sum up this that whenever you see present and past you say it is a causal system all right second we did was whenever you see present and future it is non-causal system all right now the unique cases let's take when it is only present only present was it is causal and fourth was all states all state means present past and future if all three are present then it is a non-causal because of this whenever you see a future value then it is a non-causal so basically these four are the types and these two were the unique functions so i hope you got this so friends agar aapko meri video pasand aa rahi ho then do like this video share with your friends and subscribe to my youtube channel to milte hain agli video mein till then take care this is shrenik jain peace out